How's it going YouTube? Last week you might have seen a lot of your favorite tech YouTubers got a care package from Google hashtag Team Pixel. And I'm gonna open my very own box here. I've had it actually for a couple days, but I just got back in town. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what kind of goodies I get in here this time around. As you might have known that they sent me the Google Pixel 3XL last time. I love this phone. I even use it for making videos here on YouTube. So, Pixel. Pretty heavy box, it's not light when you pick it up. And I see that we get another of their cases here. We get a Team Pixel cloth bag here. And they actually sent a pop socket. Now I do respect the pop socket because it does have functional use, but for other devices like wireless charging, it just didn't make sense because it blocks. But since this Google Pixel 3a does not have wireless charging, oh, and it's little, oh, I don't even need. Just peel that. Feel that so no need to get scissors out knives nothing so yeah you guys probably seen the unboxing of these but i gotta do it myself because i you know buy a lot of products and always showcase how they how they look and feel with my first impressions and right away the phone feels nice in the hand and it does feel pretty much the same i can't really tell the difference now holding them side to side just a little bit heavier i do have a sticker on here so that adds a little bit weight but if you're holding them side by side you're almost not going to be able to tell that this isn't their regular Pixel 3 XL. We even get this glass looking frost onto the back. Now I am going to boot it up and this is running ammo LED screen so you're not going to get those cheap LCD screens. So while we let that boot up, let's see what else we get in the package. We get the booklet, the SIM card removal, USB-C to USB-C. Then you got the converter. So this is the 18 watt charger, fast charging to charge everything real quickly. Okay, I can copy all my apps and data. I'm not gonna copy anything, I'm just gonna start fresh. We're gonna get the same experience of doing the unlocking fingerprints. I'm gonna count to see how many it does. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Adding finish and touches. So while that's doing that, whoa, okay, that was a lot faster boot up than I thought it was gonna be. But we go into it and we, yep, this looks like a good screen. Just staring right into it. Is it the same bezels, same everything? No, obviously we're not gonna have a notch on the top because the Pixel 3 XL has a face with two front facing cameras and a notch cut out. And the 3A XL does not have a notch, and no face, but there's a camera right by that glowing section. And also here, the Pixel 3A does have a headphone jack right on the top. The Pixel 3 XL does not. Obviously the phone's gonna run really smooth. You can do power on, unlock just as fast. And the feedback, the vibration feedback when you touch it feels identical. So they didn't skimp out on the motor. And another thing, the earpiece does double up as a front facing speaker as well as the bottom. So you do get stereo speakers and you'll hear it. You're just not gonna get wireless charging, waterproofing, sealing, you might have some resistance, but it's not supposed to be fully waterproof like this was. You're not gonna get two front facing cameras for wide angles and all that, but it should still be pretty good. And if I bring it up real close together, I will just say that the bezels are just a little bit bigger than the three XL, almost said 3A, 3XL, it's kind of hard to say. On the 3XL, we are gonna have a bigger and higher quality screen, but this is also a 1080p, which is still gonna be really good, as some people like 720p screens and they don't see the difference between a 2K display. So if you watch other people's reviews, they will say that the screen on this and the viewing angles are great. Now, will the 3XL cases work? So as I fit it, it seems to be way snuggier, so it, it might be a little bit bulkier and fatter. Yep, I can see that the fingerprint, a little bit lower sitting, but the camera is exposed correctly, so that's probably the same exact position. Actually, let's look at the bottom here for the charging port. It also, it is sitting fatter. So the phone is not as thin as the Pixel 3, the normal one, and you can see that the hole sits in there more rounded and the charging port cutout is leveled. So it's not gonna be the same exact case. Now double tapping to launch the camera and obviously this is what people are gonna love and want this phone for. The camera is a big deal, everyone raves about it. That's normal and that's a loud speaker right away. This phone came out at $850, maybe nine, was it $900? That's a lot, right? But then you can get this phone for around 450 bucks 
for the same quality of camera, just a little bit of bump down specs. But people these days don't really care about the specs, so they're gonna be okay with whatever it has inside as long as that camera is gonna perform YouTube. And let's listen to that speaker. Those of you guys who like the white theme, then that's gonna be fine for you. Um, it's normal. For me, it looks totally different because I'm so used to the darker theme. It looks clean, but for me, I like to save battery and I like the dark theme. So we're gonna go to dark theme just like that. We see that switch over and then we get this look better for your eyes and it's gonna save your battery. And this is a pretty big thing. It's not that heavy, but it's pretty big. It neutralizes 99.97% of airborne allergens, dust, and bacteria. It has three stage filtration system. There's the automatic speed control that adjusts the fan speed on the current color-coded air quality indicator quickly helps you know what air quality is at home quiet operation operates at 54 decibels to provide for adjustable 12-hour timer keeps track of how long you use your air purifier fresh air while you sleep adjustable 12-hour timer keeps track of how long you use your air purifier all right so i do see that the pixel 3 speakers are louder i can feel them firing faster out the front because they're facing towards you this is a little bit different because the speaker is firing from the bottom and the earpiece so it's not as loud but it sounds just as clear or maybe clearer because it doesn't distort as much as this one like at high levels the pixel 3 xl does extort so i'm going to put these as close as possible together and we're going to see that there's a different kind of tint inside and behind that screen dark from here and if you go out this way, you can see there's different colorization, different glow from different panels that it is showing you. So that's just something to mention. It's not gonna be anything that's gonna hurt or be a problem, but we can tell that it is using a different panel. It's a Pixel phone. You're gonna get all the three years updates. You're gonna get all that free storage for pictures and videos. You get the call screening. So if anybody calls you through this phone, you can have the Google Assistant answer your phone calls and all that cool stuff. The main thing is if you wanted a Pixel camera, but you don't wanna pay $800 or you didn't wanna pay that, you can get these used nowadays. But if you want a brand new and know that you're gonna have warranty and not have something that maybe a speaker is bad or they throw it underwater, at least you get a clean one. It's gonna be fresh on the warranty for half the price and when this one came out so that's why people might want to come to this especially again for that camera and the speaker was decent and it launches pretty fast and I'm gonna double tap double tap and you saw it actually the 3a beat it yeah I, th I think the 3a is beating okay so that's enough testing there to show you that it launched faster the first time It's clearly not that far behind. Both the motions are on. That's pretty equal. And the last thing, I just want to check out this. Let's see how this fits. All right, there's the cloth. Feels like jeans in a way, or like your Google speaker. The G is actually outside. You can feel it. It's like a rubber, perfectly centered. Fingerprint. And then the camera cutout is perfectly fine. Now you do have these open so you do have your headphones exposed and your microphone hole your speaker your charging port and the other microphone now if you would drop this phone without its case since it's plastic it's not going to shatter around like all those other phones that do have glasses this is plastic so it should technically last longer if it lands in the back in the front glasses are prone to shatter and break or crack but we can see here there's a lip so you can put it face down if you're one of those people who don't like screen protectors and you're afraid that your case is not gonna protect your screen it does it does not hit and lastly the neon yellow or how do you say green it's rubberized it's bulging out you can feel it and then the volume controls whoa that makes it extra clicky for those who don't know what pop sockets are they stick back here and you want to like have a one-handed mode or, or a little prop pops out about this much it will help you hold the phone a lot better so if you're one of those people who needs to take selfies or use it as a stand like i said even though i'm not a fan of these things i do respect the purpose and functionality of it i just rather have this phone loops as you can see way more flush it allows me to wireless charge my devices i don't have to take the case off and i have my finger in there and i can just do that kind of holding and it does get dirty and it does get loose once in a while you can do it much tighter much looser i like just to do one finger that's all i need i don't use it all the time so i would not want to have a pop socket all the time but everyone's 
use cases differently, but those are things that if you need to do one-handed operations, you can go one of these routes. There's many others out there. And obviously I didn't give you all the internal specs and everything because everyone else is going to give you those specs and it technically really does it as long as the price is right, the pictures are good, it's doing what you need it to do and it's going to be able to perform and do that kind of stuff. The price difference. And again, guys, I've been using this pixel because i use the front facing camera because it has such a wide angle and that wide angle can get a lot of my videos here so yeah there you guys have it long video if you want for yourself you already know what to do you can find it at retail shops buy it online just quickly search for pixel 3a xl or just the 3a or just go into the description down below and click on that link if you don't want to type anything out whoa this is ant in here probably smells my nectar here other than that thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Later.